food truck is parked outside the public library in Farrell. It's selling ribs, and the owners hope that the money will help keep the library open. First News reporter Alexis Walters joins us live in the studio with what's happening with the library in Farrell. Well, the Stain Event Public Library lost a good chunk of its funds from the city of Farrell, and it's one of the only city libraries that's in walking distance for those who live in Farrell. If money doesn't keep flowing from outside donors, there could be one less. It's more than a place to store books. It's a safe place where kids can go to study and families can go to spend time. It's always had a special place for me. Everybody walks to the library here, and we know everybody by name. But if it closes, the closest library would be a 40-minute walk to Sharon. One library cannot service the whole community. Two years ago, the Community Library of the Shenango Valley took on funding for Stay in Event. But the manager tells me they need at least an additional $6,000 a year to stay running. They used to be open six days a week, and they're down to four days. If they go down to three, there's no more library. That's when Seeds of Faith Ministry stepped in. When I heard that they lost their funding, it was something personal to my heart. Buying a rib dinner from their food truck outside the library will help keep those doors open. It's a part of the community, so... If they're going to be here supporting it, I have no problem showing up and doing the same thing. Aside from money, they need more patrons, too. If kids get their own library card tomorrow, they'll throw in a free french fry from the food truck. The youth getting library cards, it's really important because those youth are going to turn into teens and then adults and eventually donate back to the library. Now they'll be holding the fundraiser for one more day tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can support their funds there or you can donate on their website. You can find that link on WKBN.com. Live in the studio, Alexis Walters, 27 First News.